Now, many of you have asked me for update on Holina, and I would like to do that today. I'd like to show you first uh, my next upgrade on Holina. Uh, it's still quite warm in Dallas, Texas, but it will soon be a little cooler, and so I want to plan ahead for the colder weather. And so I uh, have been watching on YouTube, like so many of you, I've been watching videos, and there's a gentleman out of Australia by the name of John Mack, 47, who has uh, done a super job with over 20 videos on these diesel parking heaters. And so let me just take a moment here to show you the diesel parking heater that I have purchased. It's 3KW heater. I've set it up here on the side of my uh, shed because I wanted to fully test it. I wanted to see how it would work and, uh, you know, just before I went ahead and installed it in the unit. So I'm going to show you where I'm going to put it in Hallina and what the plan is. And then hopefully later I'll show you the final product. Also today, I hope to show you some of the improvements I've made on Hallina that uh, make it even a nicer unit for me to camp in. I have taken it on a few camping trips. My lovely wife and I have gone camping in it. And let me tell you that the solar system, which is a 13 kW, 48 volt, 272 amp, amp hour uh, system with 1400 watts of solar on top of Hallina is doing fantastic. The unit has not had to be plugged in ever as uh, the solar is taking care of all the air conditioning needs, everything that I need. So it's, uh, it's really been a sweet uh, setup. So let me just take a moment here to introduce you to this diesel parking heater. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the camera off the tri tripod now that I've had an introduction and uh, show you what I'm working on here. So I've taken the time to set up the parking heater here, and you can see the, uh, the 10 liter uh, uh, reservoir is here. And I wanna show you in my testing here, I've gone ahead and taken the time, if you can look here, in my setup, I went ahead and showed, uh, I wanted to see how much fuel the unit was using. And I came up with, in a three and a half hour period, it was using about an inch and a half, uh, you know, I'm not telling you in liters and all that, but uh, I calculated that this tank, if this 3KW heater's running all the time, it will, uh, it will run over 30 hours. So that's wonderful. I've got a little temporary setup here with some batteries that uh, I've taken out of a gate operator. And you know, the controversy with these uh, is the pump and how loud it is. I'm not certain I've done a fantastic job here, but this is my start for hanging it. And I'm seeing how it does work. And I'm, I'm, I've used this for several hours now and uh, I've been real happy with the setup. So I'm, I'm planning on installing this in Paulina over the next week or so. And uh, now what I'd like to do is show you some of the improvements I've made in the trailer. Uh, I'm gonna stop this video and uh, start it again. And uh, we'll go over to Paulina now. Thanks for tuning in. And please like and subscribe. Well, hello, YouTube. This is part two of the trailer update. And I'm just going to start here by giving you an overview. Let me tell you that the solar panels on the top, the 1400 watts of solar panels that are held on by the Unistrut, by clips, and also a stainless steel strap have been on there now for a nearly a thousand miles of hauling, some at much at highway speeds, and we have had absolutely no problems. I've seen no fatigue in anything, so I'm very thankful for that. 
So I just wanted to give you a quick overview of that. Now we're gonna come down off this ladder and we're going to take a look at some of the upgrades and updates that I've done since the last review. And uh, the first thing I'll show you, of course you do see the awning out, which is really nice. That I just can't imagine Paulina without that awning. It's been so pleasurable to be able to sit out and uh, enjoy that. So I'm gonna take a little walk around the unit as I'm going to show you on the other side, which would be the driver's side, street side, where I, the fuel tank, the fuel tank for the parking heater will go right here and I will make another box and I think I'll be able to put supplemental fuel here on this storage area. But uh, I'm gonna go, gonna go ahead and build another box like these boxes here to install over that to kind of hide it a little bit. Some little thing upgrades I've done on these antennas and on the lights You'll see, I know it's a little hard to see, but I've, I've made these little chevrons or uh, protections. And I did that because as I drive down my alleyway, uh, sometimes these lights and antennas can be clipped by, uh, by, by some trees. So that's what I've done there. So let's just take a walk here now towards the inside. One of the things my lovely wife bought to make it like home, she wanted my grandkids to be able to see Peaches and Coach live here. Peaches is my lovely wife's grandma name and Coach is my grandpa name. So that's our grandparent names. So that's what she did. Now let's take a look inside. And let's just take a look at some of the improvements. Of course, the first thing I want, did want to show you is that this has been running for ever since, you know, for weeks and weeks. And we are here at nearly 6 p.m. And the unit has been cooling today, 78 degrees. Right now it's at, uh, pulling about six amps, but it's at 93%. So you can see we've had some good sun and uh, the solar system is just working great. Uh, just little things I've done. Some of the lettering is a little bit differently done different. Now here over the sink, something you haven't seen are these uh, window coverings. We got this one at Ikea. Let me just show you how it works. You just pull down on this right here and that goes right up and that lets you have a good view of that emergency escape window that's over the sink. So I think the color match worked real well. Another thing that I worked on uh, is these window coverings that just fasten in with, uh, with some Velcro. There we go. And then in the heat of the day, I usually just, I just usually have these in place. So that's, that's kind of handy. And we've been, I've installed a little magnetic holder here for knives and also the uh, a paper holder right here, which is very nice. One of the things uh, that I've done for in the traveling mode and let me just show you this because I, I, I'm realizing, you know, I had to, I realized the first time I took it out, things really do move. It's a rolling earthquake. And so uh, I went ahead and installed, I, I've got this right here as a bolt. And I just take this bolt out. Let me just show you what I do. And I've got a hole right here in the center. And you can see it says, Bolt in place when moving. And so I just take this bolt and I just put it right in here. And that's how I lock in place these sliding doors. Now, while I'm down here on these sliding doors, let me just take a moment 
and show you where I plan to put the parking heater. <clears throat> I'm just going to take this back so I'll know where it's at next time and install it right here where it goes. And the parking heater is going to go right down here, lower. I'm going to cut hole in the floor and put the parking heater down low here. We'll have return air in here. Uh, I believe, you know, we'll have to see how it all ends up with the supply air. I'm hoping to put a supply air closer to the front here, closer to where the shower, uh, the bathroom area is. And then the primary heat uh, will come out here, the side of the cabinet, which is closer to where the bed is located. So that should be very nice. So that's where the parking heater is going to go. Now, other improvements, just simple little things. Initially, I had some white straps on here. These are a baby type lock, and they're really handy. I've, I bought them in black now, but all you do is you just push it like this, and this lets it open or close. Now, that when, when I'm camping, I just put it around like that and just keep that like that. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna have to come up with a Velcro or something on the back of this because as I use this with the microwave, it kind of gets in the way. So my plan is to put a little Velcro right there, but I have not done that yet. Now, let me show you something I've done on the porta potty. I think that is pretty creative. I'm sure there's better ways to do this, but this is what I came up with. On the porta potty, of course, we're, I, when you're rolling, going down the road, you need something to kind of hold it in place. And I came up with this idea. It's a piece of PVC and uh, it's stoutly in place here. And you just pull it up like this. And then once it's out of, out of the way, the porty potty can be moved to wherever you'd like it to be. Or, you know, if you wanted more room, then well, it can just be wherever you want it to be. And here again, when you look at the floor, uh, I think it's kind of neat to see the way that the the V-nose is encompassed with this FRP. The FRP turned out, I think, looking very nice. So, and then when, when I want to go down the road, I just scoot the porta potty back in place like that. I grab a hold of this and put it in place. And gone nearly a thousand miles and it stays right in place there. I have also put up these little hooks. I'm going to put up more of them. This is in addition to this drying hanger that my sweet daughter-in-law, my sweet daughter came up with. She has it in her home and I think it's really handy here. And when it's not being used, I just push it in like this. And it just goes right up against the wall like that. Here's the curtain, shower curtain. It just works wonderful. And here's the division curtain for the bathroom, the privacy curtain. Let me show it to you from the other side. It gives you a much better view. Things, I don't have a wide angle on this, so it's a little hard to see. <clears throat> there you go. Now I'd like to show you the emergency exit for the trailer. But before I do that, I'm going to walk you outside because I want to make certain I've got it in the parking position. And you'll see what I mean when we go outside here. Parking position for the locks on the outside means that I take these cam locks and I open them when we're camping. And then I put a lock in this hole right here. And so by doing that, these cannot be locked back in place and we uh, go ahead and now when we're inside I'll show you what the idea I came up with 
for quick egress. From the inside, with the bed down, of course, we would we have the bed down for sleeping, but we just have these locks here, and all we have to do to easily get out is we just rotate these like this, rotate this one like this, like that. Now those locks, uh, if somebody wanted to get in, those locks would keep them from getting in. But if we want to get out quickly, now all we have to do is push the door down and we can get out of the trailer quickly. So I think that's pretty handy.